up, Cubes? Welcome to the IAC building right off the West Side Highway, home of News Beast, Newsweek and the Daily Beast. Come on in, we'll show you around. This is the lobby of the IAC building, built in 2007. It's home to 50 different internet brands, not just the Daily Beast, but Vimeo, College Humor, and many more. A company founded by Barry Diller, the building designed by Frank Geary. And it's one of the most distinctive buildings in New York right now. Whenever you're driving down the West Side Highway, it's all lit up and it looks like a ship. And cab drivers are always asking, what's up with that building? Who works there? This is actually one of the features. This shows who's watching and reading the Daily Beast right now around the country and around the world. See, it's still morning, but uh, big California push. Even some folks in Cuba checking us out today, and certainly Mexico. Let's go upstairs and I'll show you around. Welcome to News Beast. This is the main floor. Newsweek uh, covers right behind us, and here it is, Newsweek Daily Beast. News Beast. So this is another coffee bar in Snack Island. I'll grab um, a little Cracker Jack this morning, and um, club soda, because I drink like 15 of these a day. These are the News Beast editorial offices right here. This is where it all happens. We've got the wall of TVs for all the major networks, plus the homepage uh, for the Daily Beast up on the screen there. There's Tina Brown in her office right at the corner. Uh, and this is where I sit. This is my cube. Uh, and this is where I write my columns three times a week. This is the uh, Newsweek magazine wall, all the covers of the magazines to date, some of our most recent, Why Barack Needs Bill, Muslim Rage, and uh, the Democrats Reagan. Two of my favorites, the Mad Men issue that we did in 1965 style, and who can forget Michelle Bachman, Crazy Eyes. This is the Beast TV set. We had 2.2 million views uh, last month. Folks come in, newsmakers, and we interview them, either myself or Tina Brown. Um, and we can also do live shots for CNN or any other network from, uh, from the studio set, which is pretty cool. We even have egg chairs. <laughs> Uh, this is an egg chair where people can sit and have their iPad held for them while they watch in some degree of silence and contemplation. Our iPad app, incidentally, for Newsweek, up 233%. This is our prow conference room. Everything in the building is named after a boat, as you might have noticed. Um, this is the uh, morning editorial board meeting for the Daily Beast. I'm going to go join it now and talk some politics. From this telescope, you can see the Statue of Liberty. This is the ninth floor. This is the hangout room of the IAC building. People come up here to get food, catch up with friends, to get a meal, obviously. The Hudson River is our backdrop. You can see down in New York Harbor. Chelsea Pier's right across the street. You can uh, hit some golf balls, or as I prefer, go to the batting cage or play some basketball. It's just a great view on a beautiful day. It's got one of the best views in New York, and it's a relaxing place people come to hang out. Now let's go over to the cafe and I'm gonna get another cup of coffee. After milk's in the coffee, it goes in the industrial size fridge, just like you have at home. Anything you want, including seltzer water, which I drink all day, and it's free. This is the snack bar. You've got your choice of cereal, from Captain Crunch to uh, corn puffs, and uh, any snacks and fruit to keep you going throughout the day. Myself, it's pretty much all about the coffee and water. Let's go downstairs. Hey Cubes, thanks for dropping by News Beast. We gotta go now and anchor Beast TV on the homepage every day at 10 a.m. Let's do this. <laughs>